Hi everyone, it's currently the 13th of March uh, at 11.30pm and I just came outside to just check on things and uh, look at how the sky was in the hopes that it'd be clear and funnily enough it actually is. Uh, so I think I'm going to be able to get a little bit of an unplanned imaging session in tonight, even if only for a few hours. Um, I'm hoping that with these new moon skies I'll be able to capture at least something. I think it's going to have to be a galaxy target, uh, as this is really sort of prime time when there's no moonlight to be doing that sort of uh, imaging. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to get my telescope out now, get a target picked and hopefully get set up. And fingers crossed, uh, these skies stay clear. Stay tuned. I think these are sometimes uh, some of my favourite sessions to be honest with you. Um, no planning, so no real expectations and it doesn't really matter if things go wrong, at least you managed to try and get something. So we're on about quarter past 12 now uh, and I'm just getting started. I know the scope's not fully cooled yet but I have just performed an autofocus uh, and I'll just keep a close eye on it. Each sub as it comes in and see as soon as the focus starts to drift uh, I'll set off another autofocus and try and catch it up. Um, the target I've chosen for tonight is actually M81 and M82 as I think that's going to be a perfect sort of target for the window of time that I have available to me as it's quite bright and so it shouldn't be too uh, too challenging of a target and uh, the rotation is also good for how my camera is currently set up uh, I, I often leave it at 90 degrees rotation um, as I find that that fits more targets than not basically uh, the other option generally used is 0 degrees or 180 degrees at the opposite side of the meridian um, and yeah, I think that just tends to work for me, so it's, it's often what I stick with. I'm just out here now, uh, setting up a little time lapse, looking across Vega uh, to the east. I thought that might be interesting to see uh, I like a little teaser of what's to come just slightly later in the seasons um, I don't think you really see much on the time lapse in terms of any Milky Way uh, car rising but it's still nice to at least see the constellation hopefully Cygnus should pass through the frame in a moment but yeah I've set the time lapse up now and rather than just go straight inside I've decided to just stay out here for a little bit because honestly it seems like it's so long since we last had actually a clear sky um, it's just nice to be out and see the stars again, to be honest with you. It's uh, a big part of the hobby for me, is just being out here and actually enjoying it. Well, that's something no astrophotographer wants to see. And unfortunately now here, the uh, the PhD bong of doom. We're now on about 20 to 2. Uh, unfortunately I've had to delete quite a lot of frames due to uh, passing cloud but um, I'm hopeful that it should clear up. I just came outside once I heard PhD making uh, the sound that we all know uh, <laughs> and don't want to hear uh, just to check on things and make sure it wasn't raining basically. Um, and it's just kind of thick banks of cloud that's passing through right now. Um, if it clears I'll definitely want to get some more data taken uh, as unfortunately I've only got about 17 good um, three minute exposures taken so far of M81 and M82 um, but if it doesn't then I'll just process it regardless and uh, just take for tonight for what it is really just uh, a chance to have practiced a little bit and at least gave, gathered some data uh, when I otherwise wouldn't have been able to.
Well, we're on about 10 to 3 now, uh, and while there are still some scattered clouds about, um, it has largely cleared, and I've been able to take some more subframes. Um, so far, I'm about 24, I think, good exposures, uh, and any more are welcome. Uh, I think the problem is now the targets I've chose uh, are kind of just skirting the roof of my house. Um, and I think it's, it's seemingly likely that within the next half an hour or so I'm actually going to start recording um, roof data rather than deep space data. Um, which will definitely put an end to my session. Uh, it's interesting to see Cygnus has fully risen now. Uh, I can't really wait to get started on that later on in this year. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of lovely targets to capture there, especially with the uh, L-Extreme filter and uh, the the new processing techniques that I discussed in uh, the last tutorial, if you guys have seen that at all. I think uh, I'm going to get some nice results later on in the year with that. Well, it's about 20 past three now, uh, and unfortunately I've now lost sight of the target basically into the roof of my house. Um, it's has stayed clear, so before I pack down, I'm gonna take some flats and perhaps do a little bit of EAA. Uh, looking around Cygnus, a few different targets, I think I may take a look at the Ring Nebula. Um, that's always been a favorite of mine, even though it's such a tiny little target. Um, for those of you who don't know, EAA is basically electronically assisted astronomy. Um, it's basically just using the camera instead of your eyes to enjoy deep space objects. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of it for M81 and M82 tonight. Um, if you've stayed this long, as always, thank you very, very much for your time. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, I'd love to make some more and I'm really enjoying growing this little channel. Thanks very much. Thank you.